When we talk about becoming a high-value man, there is one aspect that almost all men look over, and that is charisma. You might have come across those men that have the best physique, or are very good-looking or have a lot of money. But the moment they open their mouth, it's all downhill. At first glance, you might have been so intrigued by them and fascinated by their style and aura. But the moment they open their mouth, nothing charming comes out. This is where charisma comes in. It can take you places where you never thought you could go. You will find men pulling girls who are out of their league and better looking than them. You might ask yourself how they managed to get that beautiful girl. It all comes down to charisma. The way you talk and make the other person feel. Charisma is more than about attracting girls. You could be a senior in high school running for student council president, or a military officer working to win your men's loyalty, or a salesman trying to land some new clients, or an entrepreneur looking to make a successful pitch and attract investors. No matter your situation in life and your individual aims, one of the most important tools for success is your personal charisma. It allows you to command a room. So how do you become more charismatic? Some men think that charisma is a gift that you are either born with or you are not. That's completely incorrect. It's a skill that you need to develop. Just look over your life. There might be times when you were in university or school and were interacting with a lot of people. At that time, you could hold a solid conversation with anyone you wanted because you were constantly practicing communication. But a time came when you weren't talking to much people because of work commitments or you just decided to close off to the world. After taking this short break, when you decide to go back in the world and try communicating, something just seems off. It's not there. This only goes on to show that the art of communication and charisma is a skill just like playing cricket or any sports. You can lose it completely if you don't practice it. Or on the other hand, you can build it up by constant practice. There are three pillars of charisma that every man must understand and build, which we will discuss shortly. But let's quickly discuss how you can become charismatic. Simple. By communicating with people daily. Start making cold approaches. This doesn't only mean that you have to go to girls. But start off slow. Just make a commitment to talk to at least one new stranger every day. The only catch is, you have to ask open-ended questions. Meaning, you can't ask them questions like, do you like the weather? Because this question only has a yes or no answer. At first, you might be very nervous, but remember it's all part of the game. The first step, the first approach, the first time you do anything, it will always be the hardest, but it gets easier. So what are the three pillars of charisma? Number one. Gain the full attention of the other person. We live in a world where people have a very low attention span. We are so used to jumping from one thing onto the next, from one video onto the other, and from one person to another, that society will only pay attention if something hooks them in. You might have noticed that sometimes you start talking and the other person isn't paying attention. That's just one sign that you need to tweak something to hook them back in. And this is where most people go wrong. They think that they need to make themselves seem better than the other person in order to be perceived as more charismatic. In fact, it's the total opposite. If anything, you need to make the other person feel good about themselves. Of course, don't take it too extreme and end up putting them on a pedestal, but make them feel good up to a point. This is also why push and pull technique works so well in dating. So how do you develop this presence where you have full attention of the other person? Firstly, keep strong eye contact. This doesn't mean that you need to stare right into their soul, but look them in their eyes when you are talking. In fact, studies show that people perceive you as more loving, kind, caring, and full of desirable traits if you keep eye contact while talking. You will see presidents of countries doing this all the time. It's a subtle but very effective way of commanding respect. And secondly, listen to the other person. Charisma is not only about gaining the full attention of the other person, but also showing them that they have your full attention. So when talking to someone, don't look on your phone. In fact, don't even hold the phone in your hand because it makes the other person feel less valuable. 
Thirdly, don't answer right away. Mastering the art of communication doesn't mean that you need to be talking all the time. Most men get this wrong. In order to keep the conversation going they start thinking about what they should say next while the other person is still talking. Instead listen to the other person almost as if they are telling you a story and picture it in your head almost like a movie. Then ask them questions to keep that story going. And when the person stops talking don't answer back right away. Instead, let your facial expressions react first and only after two seconds should you answer. Once again, it's a very subtle but effective way of showing the other person that you are present with them. Simply put, this is the order in which you should answer back. Firstly, the person stops talking. Then, you absorb their answer and play it in your mind almost like a movie or story. You react with your face. And only then you answer. So remember, brothers. Charisma is a two-sided game. You give respect and you take respect. Give attention and gain attention. Today, we discussed the first pillar of charisma and we'll cover the other pillars in our next videos. By the way, don't forget to show some love, tap that subscribe button, and hit like for the algorithm. To see the next best way to level up as a man, watch these videos here.